welcome to this week's vlog. So today I thought I would bring you on another woodland photography tour in a, a brand new bit of Scotland that I've never been to before. So I'm quite excited to go for a walk around this place which is called Bee Craig's Country Park. If any of you are outlander nerds you'll know this is one of the locations that they used and as you can see by all the big massive trees you can see why. Let's go for a wee walk and uh, see what we can find. So I just realised all the bit that I filmed up there, um, I filmed it in slow-mo, <laughs> so my vlogging's probably rubbish up there. But I've come down to this bit here, which as you can see behind me is lovely, and it's got these really really awesome pine trees on one side and really cool oak trees on the other. So I thought I would come down and try and get a shot down here. It's still raining obviously, but yeah, it's just got heavier. Oh well. So I've been faffing about with the tripod um, with different heights to see which works better, and I actually quite like this low down in fact you can hardly see it, there it's there. Really low down position that I'm trying to shoot in. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing just now. So as you can see in camera there, so I'm shooting at f9, 25th of a second, ISO 800. It's incredibly dark down here. But that's the scene that we're shooting right there. As I was saying in the previous video that you didn't get to see because I shot it in slow-mo because I'm really harassed. <laughs> it's good that it's raining just now because this place was utterly heaving with people. And as you know, as a landscape photographer, even if you come down early in the morning and there's people here, it just puts you off your stride. Like, we're meant to be solitary animals, I think, in some, some ways. We come down when it's quiet and we get to actually think properly, we can get to be creative, we get to wander about to heart's content and not have to help a family across a burn, which I've just had to do. So, um, yeah, it's not great fun. I mean, I don't mind it raining. Like, you can actually get some really beautiful atmospheric shots in the rain, so... For me, coming down when it's raining is actually perfect because <laughs> I get to be solitary, I get to be have some peace and quiet and um, yeah, and I've got a really nice photo down here that I'm really happy with um, and it's got a really cool moody thing about it and it's very very atmospheric and it's so peaceful and quiet because there's nobody here. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're still halfway through the walk just now, we've still got a bit to go so let's keep going and see what we can find. <laughs> You've probably heard me talking about this IKEA picture I've been wanting to get for ages and um, you'll notice since the last time we spoke that my hair's really wet <laughs> and uh, the reason for that is because we just had a hailstone shower so <laughs> um, which was fine so I sort of abandoned everything bag tripod everything and just ran handheld like an absolute maniac shooting the hailstones hitting the back of these trees I'll spin around and show you what I'm looking at here see all that that was all lit up two seconds ago and uh, yeah, I finally got the the really cool backlit atmospheric shot that I wanted. And I can see blue skies coming out above my head. So I'm really happy. <laughs> finally, finally got the picture I've been wanting to get for ages. But I'll show you this picture just now. Um, the one that I'm really, really happy with. I did get a couple of portrait shots. I tried it in landscape. I was running about so fast that I'd have to really sort of slow down and talk about each individual photo but I can't because there's too many so the one I settled on I'll show you just now so yeah I got quite a few pictures here and I absolutely love them and um, I'm going to wrap up because apparently Elsa the mad dog is running about, running, about, running about behind me just now so I'm going to finish my walk I'm only a few minutes down the road from where I spoke to you before, but I'm going to finish the vlog um, once I get to the end of the trail. So I'm not actually sure where that is, because I said I've never been here before. So, yeah, we'll just, um, I'm really happy with this photograph. It's one of those really awesome atmospheric ones I'd probably have printed up on my wall. Um, so hopefully if the, finger, if, the, if the photo turns out the way I'll, I think it's going to turn out, it's going to look really, really cool. So, yeah, let's continue and try and enjoy the rest of our walk without any more Elsa's trying to jump on us. We're 
almost at the end of the walk, we found a bit that goes back to the visitor centre and um, I came across this awesome set of trees here which just look absolutely fantastic. I've taken a couple of different compositions. I used, there's a sort of rocky wall that comes along the side of them and I've used that as a bit of sort of foreground to sort of lead you in up to the tree and I've taken a really sort of far away shot of it as well. I also took another shot of it from a way, way, way down there using a long lens to try and compress it a little bit and um, I think that's really cool because it makes all the surrounding trees almost kind of blur into each other which looks awesome and it makes that stand out even more. Plus the sun's starting to come out so there's a little bit of light sort of dotting about the place as well so yeah happy bunny. The camera's been acting up a little bit today, seems very very bitty. Oh, so I've just worked out what was wrong with the camera. Um, it was shooting a 20th of a second which is not great for video to be honest so it was very very shaky and very very bitty. But I thought I would come down and just quickly wrap up today's vlog. Um, it started off as a, a bit of a grumpy um, agitated walk which I wasn't happy with but then the rain came out and then it turned to hailstones and it got rid of everybody in the park which was great because I meant to have a I meant I got to have a good wander about on my own. It meant I had pretty much the place to myself for a good half an hour which was great so I would recommend if you're going to come down here come down here early in the morning as you can hear the bird song is in full flow it's a beautiful place if there's nobody else here and I'm being really I sound really bad saying that but but it's true though like come on focus but it's true, it's it's not the best place if, if it's really busy because it seems to be a dog walker's paradise. Well, nothing wrong with that, like I, obviously I love dogs. I was in the, the woods earlier and I was trying to take a picture and obviously Elsa the dog was keenly interested in what I was doing. So she came over to see what I was doing, which meant it put me off what I was doing and it's not ideal. So I started off being grumpy and then I got into the woods and I got that really cool hailstone picture, which I don't think you can see the hailstones in the picture, but you can definitely see the mist that it creates, which is really cool. And then um, I got some of the sort of the old oak trees that are sort of scattered around. There seems to be a sort of boundary wall and there's oak trees sort of scattered on the boundary wall. Um, and it's just beautiful, it's a really lovely place. The light, the sun came out for a good 20 minutes. So I think I've come away with probably about three pictures from here, maybe four. I also got a really cool selfie of me standing on a rock, like a hobbit. So that was cool. But yeah, I think I'm going to head up the road and go and get some food because I am starving. I feel like I've been walking about all day. So I'm going to go get my lunch slash dinner and get some dry shoes on because I'm really mucky. I'll post all my photographs at the end as per usual and the next video that you see um, is not going to be the North Coast 500 because that's going to be a couple of weeks before I do that but that's coming up really really soon and I'm super excited about it. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and this little wonder and if you like this video then like and subscribe and until next week I'll see you soon. Bye!